Hi! Today I wanted to talk about the T-Rex a little bit. Um, for those who don't know me, I'm Adrian, 22 years old from Heidelberg, Germany. And uh, I'm, I've been paddling the Exo T-Rex for close to a year now. And it's my ultimate weapon of choice. Um, for me in kayaking, what I want to do with kayaking is I want to push myself. Eventually when I want to push the sport in uh, all kinds of directions when it comes to running big drops, running big rapids, running big rivers with big volume in them as well. Now it's been a year where I've been paddling the boat pretty much every day and now that I have it fully figured out it's the ultimate kayak for me and I love it every day I take it out on the river. What I like most about the kayak, I think, is definitely the amount of rocker this kayak has. Uh, I just feel like I'm bomb proof and if I sit in it, I can boof over anything, I can go through anything, no matter what the river throws at me. Before I paddled the T-Rex, I always thought that having a fast kayak is nice to have, but not necessarily super important when it comes to running hard stuff. When I paddled the T-Rex, I understood why having a fast kayak is good for running big creeks and hard rivers, because speed is just an additional factor of safety out there. For me personally, I'm somewhat in between like a medium and a large kayak. I'm uh, 188 and about 85 kilograms or in American standards that would be like 6 foot 2 and maybe 190, something like that. So I'm always in between sizes. A large kayak is usually too wide for me and a medium kayak carries just a little bit too little volume for me to run big stuff. But uh, yeah, the T-Rex is just in between those two sizes. so. It fits me perfectly, which is a great thing to have and doesn't happen very often for me when it comes to new designs out there. I mean, with the big rocker said that I was sure that on boulder garden runs and small booths the kayak's gonna perform great, but I wasn't entirely sure how that much rocker would translate when it comes to running big drops, if I would booth everything and have hard landings and stuff like that. But uh, a year paddling the T-Rex and a lot of uh, free fall later I can I now know that uh, it's definitely easy to boof but if you watch your stroke you can still have good good impact angles soft landings and stuff like that for sure as well When it comes to big water, for me personally, just knowing I can boof and go over big features and break through stuff, it's just a game changer. I know that there's a big hole, but I can go right from the middle through that because I will boof it with the length and the speed and how well the T-Rex stays on track. also means the T-Rex definitely likes to stay on track. It does not turn as easily as shorter kayaks out there, but uh, that's just all a question of power and how you use your strokes and especially 
how you use your edge around this around your knee area so I personally like to sit slightly in the back just to have that bit more of traction and go a bit even more drive throughout features and rapids um, some people like it more to the front to engage the front edge a little bit more but uh, that's each to their own play around with it see what you like most as with any other kayak out there so all in all I love this kayak it's fast it boosts over everything it's predictable which is very important if you know what your kayak is gonna go to the next second you don't have to worry about that and you can focus entirely on the rapid which is in front of you and you don't need to be worried about the kayak that it's gonna do some unexpected and yeah bad stuff in a way I love it and I strongly suggest you uh, just try for your own see if you like it uh, I'm sure you will but give it a try and let me know what you think